Hey there guys, welcome back, hope you're all doing well, this is Shaden here from Doublecube and welcome back to a brand new tutorial. Uh, this is going to be part one where we learn to create the Nintendo Switch in Illustrator. Uh, it's going to be a very fun tutorial, so without further ado, let's get started. So we're gonna start off, uh, you know, uh, on a new document which is 1920 by 1080. You can choose whatever resolution you want. It doesn't matter because it's a vector uh, image that we're gonna be creating. So I'm gonna start off by selecting the rectangle tool by pressing M on the keyboard. And uh, as you can see, I can't click anything. That's because in my layers panel, I created a blank layer and just created this nice background. And so we are gonna select the new layer and then we're gonna click. Now the width and the height is going to be probably around 366 and the height is going to be 220. Just click on OK. We're going to get ourselves a box like this. For now, I'm going to go and change the color of this to 4D, 4D, 4D and just click enter and it's going to create up this nice box for us. Now uh, we can go to the properties panel. So let's go to window and choose uh, transform rather, uh, not to properties. So let's click on transform and we have something that looks like this. Now here what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over, click over here and I'm just going to click on this inverted round. Um, all right. And I'm going to go and just set this to 10 and uh, something like so. So we're going to want to set this to this rounded and the same thing over here and set it to 10 as well. But the bottom we want that. So we're going to click on this button to unlink it and I'm going to set this corner to zero and this one to zero. All right. And uh, this is going to be, you know, just like the flat corner. So we have, we're going to have something that looks like this. I'm actually going to go and change the color of the bottom layer to something brighter. So, you know, like something like that. And let's just select it and we are going to go to align and uh, make sure you choose align to artboard and align this horizontally and vertically. That's looking good. Let's go ahead and create a new layer. So, uh, sorry, a new uh, rectangle. So let's select this. The width is going to be 77 and the height is going to be 220. Click on OK. We're going to get something that looks like this. All right, I'm going to place this over uh, to this side. So make sure you have snap, uh, Smart Guides turned on. So you can go to Window, sorry, View and choose Smart Guide. So what that does is if you move around, you can see these purple lines, which is going to smartly decide where is the exact center, where you want to place them. It kind of predicts what you're kind of trying to do. Let's make a copy of this by holding down Alt on your keyboard and then just hold and hold on shift as well so it you know moves uh in the same line and it snaps over there so we have two things that looks like this now let's select this and i'm going to come over here let's actually close this transform properties for now we don't need that uh, double click and press uh i'm going to just paste my color code over here which is 4cc6e8 click on ok so we're going to get a blue color over here and for the right one we're going to double click and uh, choose e84c53 which is going to be a red color okay so now what we can do is uh, we can select press a on our keyboard to get the direct selection tool or you can come over here and choose direct selection tool and uh, let's select these two corners then hold down shift and just create a selection so we now have four corners selected now i'm just going to come over here and click on this little circle that pops up for me and i'm going to go and just uh, move it uh, like so so now we, it's kind of rounded which looks really like the Nintendo switch Okay, so once we have this we're gonna go and create a, another rectangle and this is going to be 345 and uh, height is going to be 205 click on enter and we're gonna go and select this align this horizontally and vertically right in the center there again so Let's give this a little bit of roundness. So just select the corner uh, circle over there and just move it up so we have something that looks like this now the color for this i'm going to set this to 1a 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 and it's going to be like a really dark color okay and i'm going to select this go to object path and choose an offset path and i'm going to set the offset path to minus one and click on preview now you can see what actually happens is it creates an exact outline uh, which moves it inside one pixel in because I set it to one. Now, if I go and increase this to say probably minus 10, you see it moves it even more further. So I'm going to probably set this to minus one and then click on enter. There we go. Uh, that's good. And I'm going to go and set the color of this to 333333, which is like a dark, you know, like a gray color. So you can see we have this nice outline, which looks really nice, right? And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and select hold down just on the rectangular tool and we get a 
a drop down and I'm going to click on the rounder rectangle tool and I'm just going to go ahead and just create two small rectangles like so which is you know very small and cute ones or just shrink this in a little bit okay um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it and then click on align and uh, align this horizontally and vertically again and I'm going to bring this down so we kind of want this to be a different color just for now so we can kind of differentiate it there we go and I'm going to hold down shift and make sure it snaps right over there and I'm also going to go and move this over to the side so somewhere over there probably a little bit more closer and I'm going to hold down alt again and just hold down shift uh, and move it over to the side and you can place it up somewhere over here okay which is fairly you know almost the same size and I'm gonna go what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select these two and then hold down shift and select this one as well I'm gonna come here to the pathfinder if you don't have the pathfinder you can go to window and choose pathfinder click on the pathfinder and I'm gonna choose this option which says minus front uh, minus front and that's gonna cut out the part so we have only this you know it looks like it's kind of cut out it looks really nice okay so now we can go ahead and create the screen um, so let's create a rectangle so just click so we're gonna set this to 300 and 175 that's the screen and I'm gonna go and set this to 1a 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 got enter and align this horizontally and vertically bam in the center looking really good now we're gonna go ahead and just create two more rectangles you know just freehand so two rectangles like so then hold down shift and alt and drag them over to the side we can shrink the size of this a little bit down and we're gonna go and set the color of this to white so we can just select those two and just you know set them to white and what i'm gonna do is i'm press ctrl g and after selecting these two so if i kind of select one the other one automatically gets selected and we're gonna come over here to the rotate tool and just double click on that and set the angle to 45 you can click on preview to see what it looks like uh, maybe negative 45 is what I'm thinking there we go and uh, let's click on okay now we're gonna go and press V on our keyboard and I'm gonna go ahead and just increase the size of this so it covers the entire screen and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press uh, I'm gonna select this one hold down shift press this one hold down shift and press this one as well so we are basically selecting three different objects and what we're going to do now is use the shape builder tool so if we come over here to this one which says the shape builder tool, which is shift m just select that and you can see we have a cursor and a plus sign now if i hold on alt it becomes a minus sign so basically now whatever i select you know kind of gets deleted now as you can see we want we have the small gap over here which i do not want so we're going to fix that a little bit so uh, let me just deselect everything select only these two and let's increase this up a little bit more and probably move this over to the side something like so and let's select these again all right we don't have to select the screen for now just um this one and this one press shift m to get the shape of the tool hold on alt on your keyboard and we can just click 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 and click and let's just you know deselect and we have something that looks like this now we're going to reduce the opacity so it's pretty simple just select this one come over here to the appearance and in the opacity set that to 10 and there we go so now we have this really nice looking reflection over the screen so now what we're going to do is select this one make a copy by pressing ctrl c and ctrl f which is going to place it in place and we're going to move this five pixels up so just one two three four five five pixels up and we're going to select this hold down shift select this one we're going to come into the pathfinder and choose minus front again and what actually happens now is it cuts off and we're remaining only with this but that's not what we want so what we're going to do is we're going to select the down one press ctrl c ctrl f again to make a copy just select make sure you don't select everything so basically we have two copies over here and one copy on you know on this then we're going to select this one hold down shift select this one click on minus front and there we go we have two pieces so this is going to be piece one and this is going to be piece two now for this one i'm going to just say set this to a darker color so which is going to be 2c b8 de and click on okay and we're going to have something that looks like this which gives it a little bit of 3d uh and depth and shadow it's really nice now let's do the same thing for the top part so let's select it make a copy by pressing ctrl c ctrl f make a copy again by pressing ctrl c ctrl f so we're making two copies and then this one we're going to move this down five times so one two three four five 
then hold down shift select the one that's behind click on minus front again and we have another copy and for this one i'm going to go and set the color to 6fd2ed which is going to be a lighter color so there you go we have you know really nice color um you know definition so light medium and dark all right so now let's go and do the same thing over to this side so make a copy of pressing ctrl c ctrl f move this up five times one two three four five and you know select the bottom one uh you know so we have two copies for the bottom one no we have only one copy so we're going to make another copy with pressing ctrl c ctrl f so you have two copies on the bottom one copy on the top just select the top one select the one underneath pathfinder and choose minus front there we go and for now for the bottom one we're gonna go and just change the color to something dark so d9 3b42 right there we go so let's select this one make a copy ctrl c ctrl f let's make a copy again ctrl f and move this down five times so one two three four five let's select this one and let's select the one behind minus front and we get this part and the color for this is going to be uh, E85D63. Click on OK. So we have a lighter version and a darker version. Let's press Control 0, which is going to fit it to the screen. And you can see we already are building a really nice Nintendo Switch icon. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to select this one. And uh, let's just close this up. We want to go and make a copy by pressing Control C, Control F. And we're going to come over here and remove the fill color. So let's just click on No Fill. And let's click on the stroke. And double click we're gonna set this to three 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 click on enter and let's go and set the stroke to five and there you go we have something looks like this as you can see this one and this one is kind of overlapping and that's because this layer and this layer is on top of the stroke layer so you know to make it proper all we got to do is select the stroke layer right click arrange and choose bring to front and that's gonna bring it to the front and we're gonna still have this small detail right the small detail as you can see Pretty important so what we're going to do is we're going to create uh, you know the l1 l2 button which is pretty simple so all you got to do is let's select this layer press p on my keyboard to get the pen tool or you can come over here to click on the pen tool and we're going to make two points so one point is going to be somewhere over here and the other point is going to be somewhere over here so now we have two points now if i select the direct selection tool you can see those points now now we're going to cut off these points by you know with the scissor tool so let's press C to get the scissor tool, as you can see, scissor tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this one, this last anchor point, and I'm going to click on this one, all right? And uh, let's press V on my keyboard. So now this becomes like, you know, like a separate object. Now let's press C again and click on this one. And now we can hold down, just press select this and hit delete select this and hit delete so now we have only this part now maybe i kind of i kind of want uh, to shorten down this so let's press c again let's click on this one uh you know with the scissor tool and uh, we can select this part and hit delete so there we go this is what we have now this looks pretty harsh so we're going to round it off so let's just select it and over here on the stroke properties we're going to go and set the cap to round cap so that's going to round off these two corners for us so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this right click transform and choose reflect and you know uh, we can make a copy just you know just by clicking copy and let's select this and move this over to the other side so let's just select it and hold down shift and move it over to the other side let's zoom in so we can kind of perfectly place it there we go and we're going to want to move this over to the back okay so we're going to select this one and this one and right click arrange and choose send to back now the shortcut is shift control and the left square bracket and that moves it over to the back all right so let's go and create another rectangle okay so this is going to be 32 and the height is going to be 3 which is going to be pretty small so let's zoom in over here kind of kind of quite close whoops let's just select it and press v to get the selection tool why is it moving okay now I'm going to get rid of the stroke and I'm going to just so and I'm going to fill that up. So I just click on the swap button or shift X, which is going to do that for you. I can close this up. Uh, now this is going to be one uh, A, oops, sorry, uh, one A, one A, one A. Click on enter like a black color. I zoom pretty close. Let's make a copy by pressing control C, control F. And this time the color is going to be six, 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 six. There we go. And hold on alt and uh, 
just select the side and shrink it down. Let's move it over to the side. Make a copy by pressing Ctrl C, Ctrl F and move it over to the other side. And let's select everything, right click and choose group. And we can go and just move this down like so, which is like the power button, I guess. I've never used an internal switch, so I don't know what it is. Let's zoom in closer. Oh, let's move this to the back. So hold down Shift, Control and the left bracket key, which is going to throw that to the back. Let's move it over here to the side. I, I think this is where it, you know, it kind of sits. So that's the end of part one of creating the Nintendo Switch in Illustrator, guys. I didn't want to make a huge tutorial because I know a lot of you may not watch it. So the link to part two will be down in the description. So make sure to check that out. And I'll see you guys in part two. So till then, take care and bye-bye. <laughs>